Davis was our only hanging in this jail. He killed a man in front of the True Blue Saloon. He was hung in the gallows, and you'll see the replica of the rope that um, hung there. Can you tell us where he passed away? posted up at Huff Brewing Company and uh, man it's a perfect day for it because uh, man how hot is it today? It's freaking scorcher. Jeez, August. We didn't get hit by a hurricane. Thank we God. dodged that bullet. Thank you. Knock on wood. Yes. How awesome is this brewery dude? I love uh, it. Huff Brewing man. It's a beautiful countryside. I love it. It's out in the middle of nowhere. You have cows wandering around. Uh, it's yeah, it's crazy. It's but quaint. It's, it's awesome. The people it's, out here are great. They're, they're friendly as hell. You know, it just the fact that we're out in the middle of nowhere, there, there's like a serenity to mm -hmm. it. You know, and uh, the beer is freaking awesome. Yes. We are having, what is it, the Huffmeister? Yes. Is that what it is? Guys, the Huffmeister, man, really, really hits the spot. I strongly recommend this beer. It, it, look for it at your store. If they don't have it, request it. Great beer. You And you be supporting good, good people. So anyway, uh, awesome brewery, awesome place. Today we're taking a trip, flashback to an investigation that we did at a, at a haunted uh, a jailhouse. It's really cool. Actually, two deaths only occurred there, but I think it was enough to uh, to possibly make it haunted. Yeah, I, I believe it's anything. I want you guys to come along with us as we do this trip flashback, do a little tour of the uh, jailhouse with a little side detour. But come along with us as we go re-explore the haunted, historic Austin County Jail Museum here in Belleville, Texas. Belleville, Texas. Belleville is just northwest of Houston, uh, Houston, Texas. Belleville is this beautiful old town. It's named after Thomas Bell. Uh, the gentleman moved out here around 1838. He's one of the Stephen F. Austin's original old 300s. And uh, Belleville became the county seat around 1846. Uh, if you're interested, I'm gonna provide a link below uh, with the history of Belleville so you can read more about it. The Belleville Jail, or the uh, Austin County Jail Museum, what a beautiful place. It's old Victorian Gothic style jail. It's about three stories high. It's a really, really cool experience just to come and check it out, especially knowing that it's possible it might be haunted, makes it even better. Let's hear some a little bit of our experiences here at the Belleville Jail. So check it out. Here we go. Gus Davis was our only hanging in this jail. He was hung in um, 1901. He killed a man in front of the True Blue Saloon, which is right here on the square, December 23rd, 1900, and was hung March 14th, 1901. He was hung in the gallows, and we'll go up there in just a minute, to, and you'll see the replica of the rope that um, hung there. Okay. okay. Is this uh, saloon still? 
this here in the building? Is, this right here is it's over there in the corner of Maine and Holland. Okay. And if you look over there, you'll see the two-story building here. And what's next to it is a True Blue Saloon. What it is now is an old filling station. Ah, okay. So when you walk over there, you'll see it, and it's an old filling station. But back then, it was the True Blue Saloon. And this is the uh, the building over there in the corner is where the uh, bar fight happened when the guy was uh, murdered. And uh, we actually investigated the uh, the Monk J Frank Monk real estate place. In fact, we just got a quick walk through. Check out that video. Emil H. Herigl, the son of a Prussian immigrant when Prussia was actually a country, opened this hardware tinware slash stove emporium in 1881 here in Belleville. Because of the success of his business, he built this home, which is of a Gothic revival and Second Empire style of architecture, and according to legend, can and only has stayed in the Herigold family and cannot be sold off outside of the family even to this day. And according to local lore, a figure has been seen looking out the second story window. Sherry Corey was here because he didn't want, he was a big man, so he didn't like going up the stairs. No, I'm sure he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember going up the stairs. It's, mm -hmm. it's not easy. But Sherry Corey um, was a big man. It was said that he would use two horses to go get a prisoner. He would ride out on one and ride back on the other. So he used two horses to ride. Oh, but this oh, was wow. where he passed away in this ring. So he passed away in here. Yes. Now, what really why they never did another hanging. It didn't go over very well because when when they brought him to the jail, there was a mob, okay? They wanted to kill him right away. So they actually took him to um, a camera, I think. They took him to another jail. Okay. And then later on, they brought him back for the hanging. I heard that uh, they did not realize the velocity that the body Oh, really? It did not go well. I, I can't remember Challenge Oh, geez. When was this jailhouse built? 1896. 1896, okay. So, and up until 1982s, I'm assuming, is when it closed? It was, okay. Jail closed in 1982. The whole time. Ah, yes. Got it. Got a, wow. a National Register marker in 1980, and then the state came in 82 and said you're cruel and inhuman and we're shutting you down. Wow. died here, if you were mistreated here, can you let us know?
tell us your story. Can you tell us your name? We'd like to know who you are. Can you show yourself? Whoa. What was that? Shh. Was that you showing us which cell you're in? Telling us which one you're in? Can you please do it again? That's a lot of unsettling that's going on. What was that? Was that all the sound that's coming up the stairs? I mean, I don't know what the hell it is, but it sounds like there's a lot of settling going on around here. Is it coming from your end? It's going on all over the place. When you're in jail, do they make you work on a chain gang? All right, what a what an awesome jailhouse! What a, it was really cool, awesome jailhouse. You know what? One of our investigations, we actually caught a, a light anomaly in one of those little dark recesses that we uh, we walked around and explored. Unfortunately, I lost the footage. Uh, it, it was really, really quick. It, it, to, to be honest with you, I think it could have been anything, uh, more of a technical issue. As you saw in some of the footage, we heard some knocking sounds, but it's an old building. That is, it could be anything. Uh, I mean, building settling, we're talking even, it was hot outside and then temperature drop. You got expansion and contraction of the temperature of that whole building. I mean, it could be new construction. It's going to do that. And you're going to hear a lot of different knocking and stuff. So Exactly. And especially since uh, it's a lot of iron and yes. metal in that yes. old building. So yes. it, it could have been anything. I, I, I don't think it was uh, anything, you know, I wouldn't right. say anything paranormal. But, right. but what about that DVP, man? What do you think that? was that? crazy. What do you think? That was crazy. I still can't decipher it, but I know it was some old man. I don't have an answer for it. You know me, guys, that I usually try to explain things off, but I, I really can't explain this off. That voice didn't match anybody that was with us. You can hear it clearly. What is it saying? That's what. Help that, us out. That's the mystery. Yeah, help us out. If 
we're gonna play the, uh, the audio of it if you guys hear something message us don't say it out loud yeah because you know that's what we're trying not to really say what we think it might say because we don't want to put it in anybody's head and I, that's what they're going to listen to that's what they're automatically going to hear exactly I, i'm not going to put any uh uh subtitles telling you what we think it says to right. be honest with you I, I don't know what it says and i'm not going to try to guess so right. absolutely put your comments down below or send us a message let us know what you think let us know if you think it's an actual evp I'm not saying it's a spirit, but I, I, you know what? I, I can't explain what the hell it is. But overall, the impression of the jail, the, 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 the tour is freaking awesome. What a beautiful, beautiful yeah. building, man. It's just, it's such an awesome thing. The, the history of the place, uh, the tour guide, Becky Larson, great, great lady, very, very knowledgeable. On a K2 meter haunting rating, I would give it possibly a two. So I'm gonna give it a two because we investigated the place three times and really all three times we, we caught that EVP. It's probably the most profound thing that we caught there. So I'll, I'll give it a two. I think something weird's going on there, but I don't think it's overly active. Definitely a place worth going to investigate. Yes. Uh, before we go though, I wanna get a shout out to the friends of the trip, fellow explorers. Uh, there's Glamour and Goosebumps. She talks about spooky stories and she does makeup if you're into that sort yeah. of thing. You know? I, I, <laughs> I like the spooky stories. And, and uh, Ghost Dose. Uh, these guys are, they're fit bros and they're looking for the truth. And uh, man, they make some really well made videos. I'm going to provide a link for both of these friends of the trip down below. But what do you think of Belleville, man? I love it. I love it. Even if it's just a day trip just to get away if you're from the Houston area or Austin area who, who, who doesn't care it doesn't matter just come on out to Belleville the town square the shops it's a beautiful yeah. trip out to this historic uh, with the, uh, this rolling countryside yeah unique landmarks yeah the, the shopping like you said the shopping's awesome the yeah. food is awesome and man what an awesome paranormal road trip it, it would be in fact I, I think we might be uh, sticking around and doing a uh, new paranormal road trip here yeah. right? Uh, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. And, and thank you, Ryan, owner of the Hub Brewery. Yes. Man, I'm thank you. such a good guy. The beer is awesome. I strongly recommend you guys come into this uh, brewery. Friendly, friendly people. Yeah, the atmosphere is awesome. But what other brewery can you go to where cows will block you in and you have no choice but to stay and Damn. drink another beer? <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, it's been fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit subscribe. It'll help us out tremendously. I hope you enjoyed the video. And really, I want you guys to stay safe, stay healthy, because we want to see you on the next trip. Guys, see you on the next one. Take care. Peace. We're definitely coming back because we have that new lead. So there's gonna, <laughs> there's gonna be, there's, there's gonna be a it new, <laughs> there's gonna be a new video. So uh, we're gonna stay here and have a few more beers. Try not to break the damn camera. Try, try not to break this camera because I don't, I don't know how the other camera's gonna fare. <laughs> I hope it, I hope we're gonna you. put it in the outtakes. <laughs>